Here's an update from the KSHB 41 Weather Center. My goodness, look at this. Not a cloud in the sky. We fell below 50 degrees for the first time since May 11th. Near perfect weather today. What is going on? Let's take a look at the upper level flow. There is a heat wave creating machine weakened in the southwest United States, but our weather is being dominated by a huge trough in the Great Lakes, bringing down this unseasonably cool and dry air mass. Now, as we go into the middle of the week, we're going to see some changes. A, the trough in the Great Lakes moves into eastern Canada, a new trough into the western United States. The heat wave creating machine now is over the ocean. There's not going to be a heat wave over the ocean, but the mechanism that would cause a heat wave over land is over the water, meaning no heat waves is going to cool off across the United States. We are in a ridge, so it is going to warm up, but stay dry. Also, there is a tropical system down near Texas and Louisiana that will likely bring some very, very heavy rain down there. The question is how strong will it be right now? It doesn't look like a strong tropical system, but the heavy rain could be the big issue. Flooding, flash flooding is the number one severe weather killer by far over tornadoes and wind and all that stuff. So we'll be watching for that. I don't think we're going to get rain from that because as we go into next weekend, that low moves into southern Missouri or the Tennessee Valley. That's where all the rain will be. The trough is sitting in the west, and that'll be edging east. And as it does, then our rain chances will increase. But that is at least 7 to 10 days from now. So for today, though, if it's not going to rain, it might as well be nice. 70 to 75, abundant sunshine. Winds blow clockwise around high pressure, so we're still under an east and northeast wind. Same for tomorrow morning as lows will drop into the 40s, 45 to 50, 40 to 45 in eastern Iowa with 50s out into the western plains with that return south wind. And so that on Sunday, we are looking at 80 to 85 out there, 85 to 90 in Nebraska. We will be up to 75 to 80. Our winds are starting to turn to the southeast. So as now we get into this rainfall, when is the next chance? Well, over the last 30 days, it's been pretty dry, 36% of average here, 42% in Columbia, 31% of average in St. Louis. Yes, there's been some pockets up in northern Missouri there. Look at St. Joseph, 90% of average. Kirksville, 94% of average, but just little small areas. Central and western Kansas not doing too bad, 100 to almost 200% of average. So all of a sudden now we're beginning to look at the drought monitor. And yes, we are in a few pots patches of moderate drought which is a level two of five the yellow is abnormally dry that's a level one of five but not really considered a drought it's really when you get to moderate is when it's a drought uh, in central and western kansas the drought has definitely been reduced by the rainfall but still some drought conditions out there over the next seven days not much rain i don't think we're going to see any around here see that half to one inch rainfall out west that is the beginning of the thunderstorms in the western plains that will start to edge this way in about seven to ten days but look at that really heavy rain off to the east that's that tropical system seven to ten inches of rain houston to four to seven to memphis all the way up to near st louis that band of heavy rain either is going to be there or likely farther east probably not farther west I just don't think we're going to get it here into Kansas City, but we'll watch it. We'll see how that goes, but I don't think that will occur. For today, though, unbelievable. 68 at noon, 74 for the evening, near perfect conditions. Great weather for the Royals, the current, and out at Columbia, Missouri for Mizzou. So beautiful weather on the Super 10-day forecast. We will go, there we go, we went back to the rainfall. Now to the Super 10-day forecast. We are looking at some great weather today, 74, 79 tomorrow, Grandparents' Day and the Royals play. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it warms up into the 80s with lows around 60, so that humidity is lower. Then 80s on Friday and Saturday with lows in the 60s as opposed to around 60, so higher humidity. And next weekend, high is in the 80s, lows in the 60s with higher humidity and a few thunderstorm chances. Hopefully not during the Chiefs game. We've our the Chiefs are one and zero. The thunderstorms during and just before a Chiefs game are one and zero. So let's keep the Chiefs two and zero, but maybe no thunderstorms. Maybe they'll lose and we not get it during the Chiefs game. We will keep an eye on that. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy.